Hold the phone, uh, literally, and do not send that text. If you're about to message somebody who is driving in New Jersey, the law could come after you if that person ends up having a wreck. A New Jersey appeals court ruled this week that simply sending a text can land you in legal trouble if you knew that the other person was in fact behind the wheel at the time you sent the text. I want to bring in our legal panel on this one. CNN's legal analyst Danny Savalos and criminal defense attorney uh, and former prosecutor Jeffrey Gold. This is a good one. Talk about chewy legal issues. Really? I could be on the line if I just sent... How do I know you're reading it? And how do I possibly know that you really are driving? You could be lying. Yeah, everyone needs to calm down about this case. Here's why. All the court says is that in, theoretically it is possible if you send a text with knowledge that you're distracting somebody that you could be held liable. And in doing so, keep in mind, this court held that a teenager who was texting her boyfriend up to 100 times a day did not meet this standard. So before everyone gets carried away and thinks that one text message is going to hold me what we call strictly liable, mm -hmm. uh, which means automatically liable without any other showing, that's not the case. So what was weird about this, Jeff, was that the, the appellate court ruled that that teenager, in fact, was partly to blame for the accident that her boyfriend had terribly injuring two people on a motorcycle but did not hold her liable for it and that makes me wonder can you extrapolate that if I'm sitting in the passenger seat of a car and babbling away to the driver as I always do that I'm just as liable there as well well no because what you're doing there is talking while the driver is concentrating on the road so what happens here in negligence is this the question is does somebody have a duty to another person and they establish that yes you have a duty when you're sending a text to be careful what they said then was this teen didn't breach the duty didn't violate that duty because the teen had no way to know that the driver wouldn't pull over and read it or just read the text later so while it seems like a big hole Danny's exactly right they made an even bigger hole to let people get out of it where they said I, I thought he was gonna pull over and read yeah, that text. I got a better one how can you prove it was me typing it's a keyboard uh -huh. right anybody could have been on it but I hear that in almost every criminal case that involves some typing all right uh, thank you very